Okay, how to waterproof your hydro remote cable system to a GoPro camera using one of GoPro's backpack doors. Uh, of course, you'll need a waterproof backpack door. I like to use one of my wrist housing backpack doors from the LCD screen setup because I don't use the wrist, hous wrist housing and that backpack door would otherwise go unused. Here I'm taking the gasket out of the included compression fitting. Uh, sometimes you need a blunt instrument to kind of push it out of there. Uh, but take that gasket out. The domed nut is going to go on that cable number two first before you put the gasket on. Now that gasket you kind of twist or push on to the end of the plug there uh, until it's flush with the end of the black there and that's really going to give you that waterproof seal later when you insert the plug into the compression fitting. Alright, just about have that on there now. Great, and now uh, as you can see there's already a hole cut out of the backpack door that's a 7 16 inch hole to give it a really nice snug fit with the compression fitting. I've also removed the foam that was in the back of the backpack door to give it a little extra room. Note also you drill the hole on the opposite end of the backpack door from where the 30 pin connector connects into the hydro remote cable. Okay, we're going to thread that that uh, compression fitting through the backpack door and just with hand pressure we're going to tighten tighten that fitting on there. Uh, you really want to make sure there's no um, contaminants or um, rough plastic or anything that's going to keep that o-ring from sealing to the backpack door and you really always want to test if you're going to use this in a submerged environment you really are going to want to test this housing first without the camera to make sure that you did everything correctly now you can see that cable number one is built to seat really tightly into the inside of that cable gland and that ad adds an additional corking waterproof tightness to prevent water from getting in. If you really want additional waterproof feature or are planning to go to deeper depths, you may even want to glue that compression fitting into place. Okay, I uh, put the housing together without pinching the cable and now that gasket over the plug is going to let, you're going to gently push that into the cable gland with maybe a little twisting motion you know, making sure not to uh, torque any of the teeth that are on that cable gland. And then that, that nut you'd put on the cable earlier, you're going to thread that down nice and snug. And you should now have a nice waterproof seal uh, to that cable, which is ready to uh, adapt to one of any of your favorite remote controls. For additional information, please uh, check our website, hydromote.com, and I look forward to seeing all the great uses you come up with. Thank you.